Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this frame. This frame has been loaded with three pointed loads. One load is acting vertically at the middle of this beam, which is 5 kN. The other loads are the horizontal loads, or we can see the literal loads acting on the members of this frame. One load is 4 kN acting at a distance of 3 meter from this hinge support and the other load is 3 kN acting at a distance of 3 meter from this roller support. So we are going to find out the support reactions. Let's consider this is any support A and this is support B. It is a hinge support so we can say that it can resist the vertical load or a Y and also it can take the horizontal load R A X because it is a hinge support so it has the property to take both the horizontal and vertical load while this is a roller support so it can only take the vertical load so we can say R B now how to find out the support reactions first we are interested to find out this R A Y and R B because these are the vertical reactions of for this frame so to find out R A Y and R B we have to use the summation of moment equation at any point equal to zero. We can use this equation or we can use this equation to find out the unknown support reaction. But in this case, we have two unknown R A Y and R B. That's why we cannot use this equation. So the only equation is that we can use the summation of moment at any point equal to zero. Now let's consider the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. We are interested to find the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. Now let, let consider that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. This is just our sign convention. So all the forces that create the moment will be taken as positive if it is clockwise and it will be taken as negative if they are creating anti-clockwise moment. Now R A Y force is acting here up about point B. It is acting in upper direction so it will create clockwise moment about point B. Because it is acting upward, so it will create clockwise moment about point B. So clockwise moment will be taken as positive. Now to find out the moment, moment formula is force multiplied with the moment arm. Now, so moment at point B equal to zero will be force moment created by this force. So R A Y multiply with the this is the force. Now the moment arm will be the distance from this point up to the point B because we are interested to find the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. So this whole distance will be the moment arm for this vertical load. The moment arm is 4 meter plus 3 meter plus 3 meter plus 4 meter. So the total is 4 plus 3 7 and 7 plus 7 14. So the total moment arm for this R A Y is 14 meter. Now other loads this 5 kN also creates the moment about point B. So this 5 kN is creating moments about point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So we are going to take this negative. So it is minus 5 kN is the load multiplying with the moment arm. So moment arm is the distance from this 5 kN point up to the point B. So the horizontal distance is this distance. 3 meter plus 4 meter which will be the 7 meter. So 7 meter is the moment arm for this 5 kN load. Now this load will also create the moment about point B 4 kN. So this is acting in this way. So it will be it will create clockwise moment about point B. So it will be taken as positive and 4 multiplying with the moment arm. Moment arm is the distance from this point up to point B but this is the vertical distance so it will be from this point up to this point which is 3 meter. This distance. So it is 3. Now this force 3 kN also creates a moment about point B. So this will create the moment about point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be taken as negative. 3 multiplied by the moment arm. The moment arm for this load is the distance from this point up to this point B. So it is 3 meter. So summation of all the moments about point B equal to 0. Now we can move all these values into the right side. So it will be 35 minus 12 and plus 9 and again 14 R A Y equal to the 
if we add these values, we got 32. Now R A Y, dividing this 32 by 14, if we shift this value, so we got 2.28 kilonewton. So this is the reaction acting in the upper direction is 2.28 kilonewton. Now to find out the RB, now we have only one unknown. So when we have only one unknown, then we can use this equation to find out the reaction. This equation can also be used to find out the one unknown or two unknown. But this equation can be used when we have only one unknown. So we can take help from this equation that summation of moon, summation of vertical forces is equal to zero. Now let's suppose that the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So all the upward forces will be considered as positive. Upward force is this upward force, or a y is taken as positive plus RB, it is also acting positive and the force is acting in downward direction is considered as negative. So only vertical force that is acting in downward direction is this 5 kN, so it is minus 5 equal to 0, summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0. Now we know that RAY is 2.28, so we can shift these values 5 minus RAY or 5 minus 2.28 because RAY is 2.28, so RB comes out to be 2.72 kN. So RB is 2.72 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reactions RA, RY and RB. Now we have only unknown is RAX. So we can use this equilibrium equation, summation of horizontal forces equal to 0 in order to find out the RAX. So all the horizontal forces equal to zero. Let's consider that the force acting in this direction is taken as positive and force A forces acting in this direction is taken as negative. Now the forces acting in this direction are RAX this is also acting in this direction and force kN is also acting in this direction. So they are taken as positive plus force kN. And minus this force is acting in this direction so it is taken as minus, minus 3 kN equal to 0. So RAX will be equal to, if we shift this value into the right side, it will be minus 4 plus 3. So RAX comes out to be minus 1 kN. It means that it is minus 1. Minus sign shows that our assumed direction is wrong. So we have to convert, invert the sign of this reaction. So we are, we change this sign of this reaction in the opposite direction. So now it is 1 kN for reaction for the support. So Rax minus 1 kN. Minus sign shows that our assumed direction was wrong. So we have to change our direction. So now we change our direction and we move this arrow into the other side in order to make it correct. Hope you guys understand how to find out the support reactions for any frame. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.